Hi Leo, welcome to your August 2019 general tarot reading. My name is Hannah and I will be your reader for the next few minutes. Thank you so much for watching. For your first crowner, you have the Magician. And it's clarified by the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So Leo, something does happen in your season. You get blessed in a sense for your season. Happy birthday to any Leos out there in the month of August. What I'm seeing here is something you've been wanting to manifest maybe for the past year for some of you is finally starting to show itself in the physical. Whether this be a relationship or a new job, some of you guys are starting something new where there is a serious passion behind, like serious passion. Because the Ace of the Ace of Cups is just clarifying the Ace of Wands. That's just like an influx of passionate energy that you're experiencing for something that you are manifesting currently. You have taken so much time and energy and resources and put them into this endeavor, put them into this relationship, and now it's starting to finally come into fruition. Maybe there's a particular person that you've been wanting to date for a while, possibly a Virgo, maybe even a Sagittarius. I'm also picking up Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio even Gemini, maybe even another Leo for others of you. Um, but what I'm seeing here is there's something that you've been very passionate and you've been very diligent with and it's finally showing up um, in the physical because you've had the patience and the drive and the love for whatever this is, whether it be another person or whether it be a passion of yours. The Page of Water is here for your second crowner which is clarified by temperance and the lovers. So there's the resurgence of something new here, whether it be a relationship or a new endeavor. Could be both for some of you. Some of you have a new person that enters your life or some of you are with the same person but there's a resurgence of a new love for this same person. Does that make sense? So where there was once love lost, it kind of comes back around and it sparks again. Something sparks, yeah. Something sparks. When you don't even notice it, Leo, I don't think you're going to notice this spark happen. It's just going to kind of, I don't know how to explain this. Something new is just going to come about. I think some of you are already in relationships and you've kind of lost that spark it is coming back and it's going to be very unexpected for some of you it could happen while you're out drinking I'm, I'm sensing some of you guys are going out drinking and maybe you see this past person or maybe you see a new person and there's just this instant click but like I said earlier just clarifying you have had the love and the passion for either someone or something and you've been very patient and diligent about allowing this thing to manifest into your life and it is, you're getting blessed this month, Leo. You really are. Because you've had the patience to trust and to understand that you are the magician of your own life. You are the magician of your own reality. You're really gonna be seeing that this month, Leo. You really are. But you have the five of fire for your third crowner which is clarified by the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Some of you are going to be very conflicted about this relationship. If some of you are getting into a new relationship or you're starting something new with someone old, It's kind of like a butting heads, like somebody here is butting heads with someone else. Bothers some little details. It's almost like the, the little things about this person tick you off. There's little things about this person that really kind of irk you and bother you. But they feel the same about you, especially if you're dealing with an air sign, maybe another fire sign, a water sign. There's someone here that sees those little things about you that tick them off because we all have aspects of self that are imperfect um, and the ego tends to blind that from us. So 
yeah, there's like a little, like little things here that just kind of little explosions. Um, if if you want to see it, is that? But it's like little conflicts here and there, little scuffles in a household situation. Now this could be with a parent, this could be with a spouse, this could be with a, a child. But I'm picking up here that someone is lacking of emotion. Like there is emotion here because the Ten of Cups is the underlying energy. So if you have a particular partner or family member or someone who's close to you who is quite cold and they're, you know, maybe they're starting conflict subconsciously they're doing this intentionally because they have this cold energy. I, I think someone's been very patient with someone else for a long time and now they're kind of like at the tippy top, you know, of, of almost exploding and they're really trying to hold it together. So it's like the, if there's little conflicts, it's because somebody has something behind them. Like somebody, somebody's done something and the other person has had a lot of patience. They've had a lot of patience. Now this could be you. This could be you, how you feel about your partner or a family member or a friend. But there's something here that's like little things that they do are starting to just boom, 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 cause little conflicts here and there. I don't see like big conflicts. I don't see any, you know, explosions like huge explosions that could crumble the relationship, but it's just like minor conflicts. It's not going to break the relationship. I think somebody wants to cut out any conflict. Somebody also wants to cut out a conflicted energy because someone really is, um, they're stuck on something here. Somebody's conflicted because they're stuck on something. This could be you, Leo. This could be you who's conflicted because you're stuck on something. Because you have the sun for your last crowner which is clarified by the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, which is telling me that some of you guys could be holding on to something that has happened. Um, could be somebody was in another relationship, you know, while they were with you or vice versa. There was also no balance to a financial situation, somebody didn't have balance in their own finances, but also in the home, somebody was not contributing maybe, maybe not contributing so much as one person. Yeah, I do believe that you are the one that's very conflicted. Not really sure how this is going to go about. I'm also getting that some of you could be saving money to start something up of your own, like a business, or maybe you're going to open up, um, I don't know, I'm hearing like holistic practice, like something soulful, you know, something soulful. So some of you guys are, are very spiritual, you know, with the sun card, the sun is soul. So whatever this practice that it is that you're saving up for, it is a passion of yours, but it's very spiritual. Some of you could be opening up like a holistic center or just doing something involving. There's a career path that some of you are on that's very spiritually based. So maybe some of you are like a yoga teacher or you know, just like a shaman. But you're really balancing yourself out this month, Leo. You're finally finding that balance in your season. It's going to be a great season, especially if some of you have birthdays this month. Okay. So you have the King of Swords to complement my Queen here. Which, like I said earlier, you're balancing yourself out to kind of hush, hush, um, put put like a hush on the on the fighting, on the conflict, either in yourself or in a relationship. Some of you are trying to find that balance, so you're not feeling so conflicted about. Some of you have multiple paths that you want to take. Interesting. I just saw this. Um, some of you are very good at speaking, and some of you do want to work from home. Is what I'm seeing. Some of you want to do something like public speaking from the home. 
you know, maybe you want to make a YouTube channel and you want to speak on your channel or, or something like that. Maybe you want to be a writer. You want to use some form of communication because swords are about communication about a passion because fire is about passion, wands are about passion in the home, ten of cups. But some of you are going to have to break down a lifestyle that you are already living. Does that make sense? And some of you are very conflicted about this. Like you're not really sure if this is the path that you want to go down. Like is it really worth quitting my job and you know walking away from everything that I know and once knew for this new path. So some of you are very conflicted about what it is that you want to do, what path you want to take. Some of you have many paths. You have, you know, you could be, you know, you could be like a yoga teacher or you could be a communicator, you know. You could go travel the world and help people around the world. There's just so many things for you to do here, Leo, and, I, and I'm pick, I'm pick, sorry, I'm picking up that it's very soulful. Sometimes these messages hit me very fast, guys, and I just trip over my words, <laughs> but, there is something here that's from the soul, like it's from within, you know, it's burning and it's coming up and, and you can't fight it anymore, Leo, you can't fight it. I, th I think you've been trying to fight this path for so long because it's so conflicting with whatever that you do now. And you're just like, no, no, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to kick people out of my life, I'm gonna have to kick situations out of my life, I'm gonna have to throw away a lot of what I've already built in order to build this new um, aspect of self. Yeah, the King of Swords is just clarifying this for me. Some of you guys are, are trying to follow a passion that you've manifested for yourself, but you have to sever a lot of things that were once a part of your life. You have to sever what does not serve you anymore. Places, people, aspects of thinking, aspects of self, my bad, ways of thinking. You have to make a lot of changes this month. A lot of changes are gonna be going on in the month of August for my Leos. You have the Six of Wands for your second clarifier. Which is telling me that there is forward movement in a relationship. You're having victory in a relationship. Like I said, some of you are having this resurgence of a new love for someone who is from the past. But others of you, it is a new person, just depending on your situation. So take this how it resonates. But some of you are having victory because you've had that patience, either with someone or with a manifestation. Because manifestations require patience, and people do too. Some of you are also very psychically connected to someone is what I'm seeing. Especially if you're dealing with a Gemini, or a water sign possibly, maybe a Sagittarius, because I have wands here, with temperance. I think some of you guys communicate with this person without words, you know, because I have these whales here. Like, you have very funny ways of communicating with this person. Um, for example, uh, whenever I hold my boyfriend's hand to tell him that I love him when we can't speak, we'll squeeze each other's hands twice, just like a little squeeze squeeze. I don't know, it's just something that we do. Um, you, it's kind of like that. You have like funny ways of communicating with this person, like saying things without saying them, you know, whether it's telepathically. Um, you know, I have whales here and whales communicate through clicks. You know, so you have, that, that's not speaking, but it's another form of very, very um, intelligent communication. So like I said, you could be telepathically, spiritually communicating with this person. But you have the tower for your third clarifier. Which like I said earlier, you're going to have to break down things about your life that were once a part of you, once made you who you are. And now it does not serve you anymore. That's what this August energy is all about. Releasing what does not serve and embracing the new. You know, making room. That's kind of what you're doing here, Leo. You're making room for the new. You're gonna have to sever out people. Some of you are, are, are even gonna cut off family, is what I'm seeing, in order to start this new path. Or maybe not cut off family, but you could be distancing yourself from what was, what was. You know, maybe you were with a family for a little while and you're moving away. You know, some of you could be making a move of some sort away from family. Away from the, the stable, structured environment that you were once brought up in or that you were once a part of. Maybe a community, you know. 
So I mean, you're gonna have to sever this, these t not these ties, but just this way of living. Does that make sense? Habits, people, aspects of self, you know, the ego. What made you not believe in yourself? You were gonna be severing out this month. You're going to be believing in yourself this month. But you have the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Which is telling me that there is going to be clarity and illumination on something here. Something was once very tightly clutched in my Leo's grip. Um, this could be a past event, maybe a person. Maybe a job for some of you. Some of you were, were very tightly attached to a business or a career of some sort because of the money, you know, because of the physicalities. They were tying you to this career. They were binding you to this and you couldn't move forward because of this, because you were so afraid to give up those pentacles, right? Even if it's just for a little bit. I think you're really going to see that this month. You were afraid to give up that stability, but now you see the light at the end of the tunnel. You see the clarity of something. You see the truth. Some of you are going to be severing out any um, energies of giving to two. Some of you were giving to two people. You might be severing out even those two people. Yeah, some of you were, had, had very um, strong relationships with maybe two different people. And I think some of you are gonna be cutting off maybe even both of those people. And then you have the two of water for your advice card. It says a relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness, the positive resolution of a conflict. I think that's what's gonna go on this month, Leo. You're gonna find positive ways to resolve conflicts with other people. Not the whole breaking down and running and crying and getting emotional, because some of you could have been involved with someone like that who broke down all the time who exploded. This person could have been very explosive. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio. But what I'm seeing here is there's a, like a bonding because of this. Something grows deeper because you learn how to communicate with this person. There's a lot of communication that goes on this month, guys. Lots of talking, lots of resolving conflict through being adults, you know, talking like adults. But that is what I see here, Leo. If you would like to book a personal reading, please feel free to DM me or email me. All of my information is in the description box below. And I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful month and happy birthday, Leos. Bye-bye.